Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop and this latest installment of the Workshop Move. I'm sorry about my voice. <laughs> I'm losing it very slowly, uh, but I feel fine, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I thought I'd just tell you that all the kits arrived. I'm in an absolute chaos uh, because it all came off the van yesterday. And as you can see, it's you know, just dumped in here. We had to return the hire van, and so everything was offloaded very quickly, and uh, this is the result. Mind your head. Now, when it came to moving uh, the main bench and also the X-carve, neither of those have casters on the bottom. I didn't want them to have casters because once they're in the workshop, in their appropriate place, that's where they're going to stay. But moving them was pretty difficult. Obviously, with the bench, I took out the drawers. But even then, it was still very, very heavy. So, I went to Screwfix and I bought... Now these are those appliance rollers that uh, you use for moving washing machines, fridges or whatever it might be uh, and they've got a huge carrying capacity. There are two of them in here, they adjust uh, outwards and inwards, I'll take one out and show you. So this is what they look like, they've got multiple sort of little wheels here and the two sections can open out like so and then you tighten up this little wing nuts in the middle when you've got it the right thing. And there are a couple of pads, one here, one here, uh, to help stop whatever's on top from moving around. The only drawback of these is that they are a, a linear device. They're designed to go in a straight line. So if you want to go around a corner, then they tend to sort of uh, come out from underneath the actual object. But normally, you go along in one straight line, move it, resettle these in the right place and away you go to another straight line and it works fine but at 17 pounds something other, I thought that was good value and they'll carry up to 545 kilos uh, which is, is pretty amazing that's a couple hundred kilos each I assume anyway so we use them under the bench and uh, we use them under the X carve and I think you can see from this shot just uh, how much chaos I've got here. Um, we'll get there in the end. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually move some of this stuff just out of the way for the time being. Uh, and then I'm going to concentrate on uh, some little cabinets to put screws in uh, to tidy a few things away, clear some of the caggage, and then I'm going to reintroduce those various items back again and make it into a more functional workshop. Well, I feel that progress is actually being made now. Uh, you may recall I made this uh, new sort of workstation for my uh, metalworking. Uh, in the video, I think I showed it with a very large vise. Um, I've since decided that a small vise is perfectly adequate for the sort of thing I do. Anyway, that's that unit. And what I've now done is I've put beside it uh, some shelves I've made out of some old uh, kitchen worktop. Uh, this bit had some tiles set into it for whatever reason, I don't know. And it's in two parts, and this upper part here is to take my uh, sortainers, all my little screws and things like that. And down below I've got a couple of other storage um, uh, boxes, sustainer storage boxes, uh, which are really useful. And I've deliberately set this part lower than this, uh, in case I'm trying to work on something difficult and I thought it looked nicer anyway, it gave a bit more useful uh, workspace up here. And I'm just about to fit my little holder for my various hex uh, socket things here. Um, I think that's a good place for it. Now you may recall that I said that the only solid wall now that's exposed in the workshop is this end wall. And this is where I'm going to put all my screws on shelves. And they're going to be pretty heavy, so uh, it needs to be on a solid wall, I think. Now, I've got all sorts of bits of old shelving left over from the old place. Uh, and I haven't thrown any of it away. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a, a unit which will fix against here. It'll allow me to put all my screws in there and probably have space for a couple of other things as well. Now I've marked where my three holes have to be drilled and uh, the one that's here uh, I'm going to demonstrate a technique. So I put a little dot there through the fixing uh, as I offered up the shelf unit and if I now drill this as it is I would lose the actual reference of where that dot is uh, because the drill could move a little bit so it would be inaccurate. So what I do is I turn it into a cross like so. It's like so. That's it. So now when I drill there, if the drill wanders a bit, I can see the crosshairs of where the centre should be. And there's that raw plug dead centre where the hole should be. And that's that done. And now I can offer the unit up. Now, this was made from all sorts of old shelving uh, pieces and uh, various other scrap bits of wood uh, left over from the old workshop. So it may not be a thing of beauty, but it's going to be very practical. And this is where all my screws will go. Even if I say so myself, these uh, raw plugs are in exactly the right place. Now by the time all my screws are put on these bits of shelving here, uh, there's going to be a fair old weight. That's why I've got two uh, mirror hooks there, one in the middle here, and it's sitting on a pair of right angle brackets. So once that's fixed, it's not going anywhere. Now I've just taken the pillar drill off its uh, mobile base, and the reason is simple. There is only one logical place in the workshop, as far as I'm concerned, to place the pillar drill and it's just here and therefore I don't need it on the casters. Uh, the casters are great in the old location occasionally, probably only about two or three times I was able to move it so that I could uh, tackle quite long pieces of wood uh, but I'm not going to have that sort of luxury here because there is only one place for it to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the casters off and I'm going to make this a permanent fixed stand and that then has the advantage that I don't need to fix the base uh, to the wall because if you remember in the old location the base was actually firmly fixed to the wall as a safety feature because the whole thing is pretty top heavy. So I'm going to take the casters off, I'm going to put a new uh, rectangular uh, base piece underneath, put it back down, it'll be screwed to the floor. Now I've just cut this curve in this piece of plywood so that I can use it to help uh, secure my pneumatic NVD750, that's the 4 inch uh, diameter vacuum that I use for my planer. And I'm going to put that, believe it or not, on top of the pillar drill over there. I, you can see the two brackets that I put on the wall already and those are actually screwed to the physical brick wall which is either side of the garage doors and I'm going to have a piece of wood across there and this cutout just here it will go at the back so that the can of the dust extractor sits against there and can't vibrate against the wall. Uh, that's the theory if I've got my measurements right I think it should just fit in there. Well the NVD 750 is up above the pillar drill with no problem at all. Note that I've got sufficient clearance uh, for the cover, uh, the pulley cover of the uh, pillar drill uh, to be open so that I can change speed if nearby. Now I do need some space to put my various little holders for drills and so on so I need little shelves behind. So what I'm doing is I'm ma making up uh, this little uh, shelving unit which you see here and basically what's going to happen is this part here, the back of these shelves here will be flat against the, uh, the wall that's uh, below the uh, dust extractor. Uh, these two projections, one this side and one that side, will go into the, uh, the little cavity between the garage door uh, uh, and uh, the drywall and there'll be some form of fixing to keep this 
up in place, so I've got uh, a reasonable amount of shelf space. Now, I haven't yet actually put my uh, little hex set up, which is uh, still on the top there. Uh, I've got all sorts of other bits and pieces which I've got to find a home for now. Uh, basically, what I've done is I've given up all of those wall cupboards which I had in the old location. I'm not going to put any wall cupboards up in here at all. Uh, mainly because the drywall um, probably won't take the weight. Um, I think it looks nicer to have clean walls anyway. Uh, so I've got to find uh, lots of places in drawers. And so there's a big tidy up and maybe a bit of rationalisation required. Well, that's it for this video. I think my voice is coming back there, which is just as well. Many thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>